Hello everyone, welcome to my first attempt to play Oxygen Not Included. I picked up the game during the Steam sale. Obviously, it's an overwhelmingly positively rated game, and so I'm looking forward to it. Basically, I'm here to get random ideas for space things. I'm normally a Kerbal Space Program player, and but I'm also a Kerbal Space Program modder, and maybe some of this stuff will inspire parts or locations or stuff like that for Kerbal Space Program, and that's why I'm here. Uh, but I'm also here to just have fun. Uh, obviously, since this is my first time playing, there will be a lot of head desking. <laughs> so my apologies ahead of time, but that's sort of in the way of things. It's more, more about what I get wrong, I suppose. But I'm, I'm looking for how the game works. I'm looking for game mechanics and trying to learn from it. So uh, we will see. I'm not obviously judging it anyway, it's an overwhelmingly positively rated game, I'm sure it's a good game, okay? Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely not a review of any kind. Um, I guess since I'm going to be courting disaster one way or another, I might as well play survival. Classic gameplay, I guess we should go for classic gameplay for now, yeah. Coordinates, so they've got a random seed sort of thing. Uh, world is stable and has no unusual features. I suppose that's a good idea for the start. Story traits, so this is, I'm thinking uh, a lot like RimWorld here. Uh, survival chance ideal, I guess that's probably best for the start. Uh, Somnium Synthesizer, power up a colossal relic from Gravitas's underground sleep lab. And this is one of the things about Kerbal Space Program, uh, Kerbal Space Program sort of had little monuments, like it had the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey, but I'm thinking more stuff to discover, more relics, like in Kerbal Space Program 2 they had relics, uh, and maybe dis having discoverables like relics like that would be a good thing, and so we'll see what we have here. Explore a revolutionary genetic manipulation device designed for critters. That I don't think I can adapt. Uh, discover a reclusive character living in a Gravitas relic and persuade them to join this colony. Wow. Uh, track down the fossilized fragments of an ancient critter and reboot an ambitious collaborative project spearheaded by Gravitas's bioengineering and robotics department. Okay, well, I mean, this already looks very complicated compared to RimWorld, though I think I never got far enough in RimWorld to discover its more uh, peculiar elements, you know. I always kept having my little settlement dying very quickly. Uh, so, yeah, we, we seem to have some goals up front here. Okay, I don't have any DLC, I think. So, let's just go. I don't know what all this is about. Okay, so we have three duplicates. Uh, that reminds me of EVE Online, uh, because they're like clones or something. Maybe their real bodies are, and hopefully their real bodies are still on Earth or something. Uh, far, far away, and then this, these are just clones. Or like Avatar, I guess, in a way, too. So, um... So, supplying... Plus seven strength, so more carrying capacity. Well, I do like more carrying capacity. Innately stylish, increased decor, okay. Cannot do researching errands, Ah, Well, I mean, as long as you can carry stuff around. Uh, Mima, digging, lots of digging. Uh, interesting look. And um, interior decorator, okay. Well, we've got a lot of those. Unempathetic, decreased medicine. And then Devon, more decorating. Um, maybe we should reworld one of these because that's a wait. But this decreased decor. So, decorating and increased de decreased decor. I'm confused. Let's reroll this one. Uh, digging plus two excavation. Doctoring. We uh, doctoring. I know from RimWorld we probably want more of that. Uh, operating machinery. But well, that's a lot one person. But increased medicine, at least that makes sense. Decreased bathroom use speed. Irritable bowel. Well, you know, that can happen. W what is what is she doing though, Marie? I mean, three only, huh? Space junk. Um, 
Space Junk 2, <laughs> I guess. Let's try that. Alright, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm getting into, so let's just go with what we've got here. I was just a little bit worried about having too much decor. Uh, woken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. How that happens, I have no idea. Without, I guess maybe uh, like a Star Trek transporter, but... Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. So... I, I mean, I, I don't know about my own identity, I guess I, I'm the remote controller of these folks. Are they going to automatically do stuff? So, tutorial, basic controls, AD, and uh, mouse scroll. Uh, H, it, this is the printing pod, okay. I can speed or slow down my perception of time. Uh, well, we can just press those, or numpad, plus or minus and space will pause. Uh, I'll keep record of everything I discover in my personal database, you. It's all in first person, huh? Uh, it's an interesting choice. Uh, I can use the dig tool G and the build menu in the lower left of the screen to begin planning my first construction tasks. Okay, so G. Let me say we'll just uh, expand into here. And we get, and then we've got base and plumbing. Okay, we better be careful. I don't know how to. Uh... There's also this sort of funny effect, but they're sort of standing in that funny effect. So this is probably water, right? Hopefully. Um, but will they always be dropping down here? And she stopped digging apparently. They will automatically get to work. Okay, but maybe she can't dig through this? No, it seems like it. Oh, maybe they need clearance. Okay. Consumable ore. Okay, hopefully we have a place to store that. I mean, yeah, but they'll be constantly dropping down like this, right? Maybe I should make a switch back down here. Organic algae. Sublimators. Okay. Sounds like something we need. Well, at least we can drill through everything and we got Copper. Hopefully that's all being accumulated. It seems like we have resources over here. New. Muckroot. Uh, somebody made a sound. Oh, no O2. Uh-oh. Um, oxygen. Oxygen diffuser. Um, it, 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 well, I mean, I guess we need... Because uh, we're getting far away from there. Let's... Uh, uh, no, I don't want to. Um, but I'm interested to see what they do with it. Uh, how do I get rid of one of these? Delete? No. Properties. Cancel build. Cancel build. Okay. Can they just walk through those? Uh, or is that going to get in their way? I assume they can walk through that, right? Son went back for some oxygen. Ladder. Okay, so we could have a ladder. But probably we can. Oh, it needs power. Okay. Manage and wider. Uh, probably a manual generator, I guess. Well, they have to be not there. Oh, no, it gets built anyway. Uh, oh, okay, I, I keep thinking that it's not going to build it, but it's just the previous one that's getting in the way. So if it's right next to it, does it need a wire is what I'm wondering. 
How do I use wires? Connects buildings to power sources. Can be run through floor and tile. Okay, well... Oh, okay. There we go. This must be the outlet one. So I guess it's like that. This one is useless. So it has to connect through here. Okay, uh, they're munching. Uh oh. Um, that seems dangerous. Missing tile. No outhouse built. Oh, sorry. Oh, they're sleeping. Uh, plumbing. Outhouse. Requires no piping. Good. Okay. <laughs> Put right next to that. No, maybe a cot would be a good idea. They make a very funny sound while they're sleeping. Please let this all be connected. Okay, now it says that has a connection. But this has low power. Or no power. It requires a food source. Microbe musher. Okay. We are missing metal ore. Okay, but they're not they're not uh, getting this stuff, so maybe I need to build the the ladder right now. Sublimators. Metal ore is up there. Oh, there's some here. Okay, we'll get this one. There's some algae just sitting around. Storage bin. Well, let's just put it in a cubby hole like that. Meteor showers? Well, that could hardly affect us down here, right? Okay, now they've been able to uh, get that stuff there. This is treacherous. Uh, let's maybe cancel these. And we'll just cut down... Seems to... There's not much there, but maybe if we go across here, it'll be good. Okay, so, um... Potential load. Current load zero. Manual labor. Oh, manual labor into electrical power. Duplicate operation. Okay, so we need to actually get one of them to be a hamster. Okay. How do I assign people? Well, time to look for the duplicate movement thing. Um... Show navigation to view all areas in their reach. Well, that's not important. Instructing duplicates to dig out areas means we find food and all that stuff, yeah. Uh, gain the super hard digging skill to mine abyssalite. And uh, super duper hard digging skill to mine diamond and obsidian. Okay. And germs such as food poisoning and slime lung can cause disease in duplicates. A germ overlay to view all germ concentrations, so... Uh, well, they have some germs. Uh, but I don't know what those bubbles are. Okay, building wash basins from the medicine tab near colony toilets will tell my duplicates they need to wash up. Okay, let's let's be good about that. Wash basin. Oh gosh, it's pretty big. I didn't really have space near the toilet for that. Filter is not designated. Okay. Well, we're leaving a lot of what? Core, uh, copper? We're leaving a lot of copper lying around. And algae. Mealwood seed. I really need to deal with this power situation. There's some structure over here. Oh, that's sedimentary rock. Well, I don't know, there's an unexplored area here. This organic slime, though, that's probably bad for us. Coal. 
Why can't we have a coal power plant, I guess? I hate using coal power plants, but... Wish everything was, like, nuclear. But we haven't discovered that. Oh, what about... What about, uh, research? We need a research station. Okay. Uh... Stations. Research station. Alright. Well... Probably needs power, though. That has been a fraught subject. I think I'll put the research station here. We need a food source. Micro musher. Fine. Uh, didn't, we didn't already build that. Are they all waiting to use the toilet? Food poisoning? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. They're all sleeping, hopefully. They're not actually dead. <laughs> Maybe if it wasn't missing a tile, maybe I should have put the wires overhead. Priority screen. Okay, okay, well there's this. This is familiar from RimWorld as well. But there isn't a running. <laughs> maybe it's just too high and we need... Uh, how do we build up some dirt? I don't see any option to move the buildings, is that? No. Ration box. Unrefrigerated. Okay, well... Um, let me just try and run... a wire. I really need to be able to delete that. Let's de disconstruct these little bits. Oh, now that okay, okay, now they're running. That's a little bit unstable. Is it gonna work though? Okay, storage bin. All standard, let's say. This is just for edibles here. We just need to pick up all this stuff. Okay, uh, the algae worries me. Hmm. There's water here. We haven't been demanding water. I really don't know much about the demands. There's calories available here. Nutrient bars and muck root. But, yeah, I don't know about the demands in terms of water. Whether I need, even need to get the water here. Okay, they're putting stuff into the storage bin, that's good. Um, there's a whole other place here with shine bugs. So, I'm probably going to cut into here and then make a ladder up to there. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Um, whatever just happened, I, I don't want that. Uh, uh-oh. Um, no. Cancel. Cancel. Oh boy. The, it's telling to dig everything. No, I don't want them to dig e everything. No, stop. Stop. Cancel. Cancel. No, don't dig that. Don't dig that. Oh gosh. Why, why did it suddenly decide to tell them to dig everything? Okay. Okay, stay careful here. This, this is, this is bad now. Hmm. Great. I really need to build up stuff, like throw dirt underneath it. This is currently not good. So we've got an oxygen generator there. We've got some water creeping up here. Okay, so really... Uh, now this this will start flooding here. Gosh. If I demolish that building, it'll get rid of the resources, wouldn't it? I need the food thing. Micro musher. Is a ladder a good thing to have down there like that? Will that support that? I don't know. 
The, do ladders act like bridges? Oh, so it says insufficient oxygen generation, but I don't know where I see how much is necessary. Yeah, that does, it doesn't like that. No fabrications queued. Okay, mush bar. Mud slop. Um, that doesn't sound appetizing. Ingredients dirt, really? It says it needs water. Okay, well, how do we harvest water? We can get water over here. I guess we can just dig water? No, we can't. Hmm. Wash basin. Okay, wash basin. Let me just deconstruct that. Well, I mean, it's fetching water. That's what I need to do. Building a pitcher pump from the plumbing tab over a pool of liquid, my duplicates will bottle it up. Okay. I think that's disinfecting. So what happens to my resources? Okay, well, let's get a wash and uh, a uh, uh, pump. Get your pump. Right here, I guess. Do you need power? Uh, I think they just manually pump it. Well, I guess I'll, I'll see what we can do about bringing some water here. I don't know how they navigate the water and whether they swim well or not. We need a lot of things. Okay, this doesn't have water. Really? There's water down there. But it just says empty, though. Doesn't that mean somebody just needs to work on it? My research station is all the way over here and useless. <laughs> but, you know, well, I, I, I don't know. Our generator... Okay, let's see the power situation. I think it's doing all it can right now. We would need a different generator. Well, this is only 60. Oh, that works perfectly. Okay, let's just deconstruct that one and move the research station over there. Okay, so deconstruct that. And then, obviously, they made it work perfectly. Stations, research station. Fine. So this is the basic setup right here, I guess. Micro musher, research station, oxygen diffuser, battery, and generating power. A wash basin might be good too. Maybe we should have the outhouse down here and the wash basin. Let me see, let me just build a wash basin. Even if it's not close to that. Okay, so... nope. Wash basin and outhouse here, all in a row. I don't see a need to deconstruct that outhouse. We'll just leave it be. Or maybe because then they won't wash up after using that one. That's possible. Okay, we need to select research. So, basic farming. Well, that would be a good idea. Now, I don't know. Power regulation would be good, too. Jumbo battery, switch, wire bridge, coal generator, wood burner. Gosh. I mean... So, that's the thing about space, right? You're unlikely to find a world where you're, you've got coal or oil or wood or those, those kinds of things. So, I wish more would mainstream to other forms of power. It's a little bit tough to say. Normally you don't get yourself stuck inside a bunch of rock. So there is that. Now it still says insufficient generation. 
It's got some unbreathable gas down there too. And it's very intermittent. Large amounts of algae into oxygen. Well, clearly we need that. We don't have beds right now. So we need more oxygen generation, but we don't have enough power for that. And we're not going to have enough people for... I mean, how's that bad? That power battery has no power. I, I really don't see the oxygen situation very well. I mean, it looks bad. Alright. And then this is very blue here. Is that good? I might have made the cavern a little bit too big initially. And then I still don't know what the water situation is. The big difference between this and RimWorld is just a different direction of the dimensions. This being up-down versus basically on a flat plane. Well, she discovered something. But... Not quite done yet on the basic farming. I don't know. Uh, but farming doesn't take power as such, so that would be good. Uh, but I still don't understand the pitcher pump. We've got another location here that we could build. That I don't know if that would help anything. But it's got deeper water. Maybe this is too shallow, the water. We're not done building that. Oh, now there's not enough power because, well, everybody is eating. <laughs> Okay, please don't all go to sleep. Oh, you all went to sleep. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, we've got 11,000 k cows still. Very breathable. It says it's very breathable. Some bits barely breathable. It varies, but this this part is very breathable. Uh oh, what's that? Okay, well, up, 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 up. Okay, they're back to work. Okay, so I don't know if they can reach that to dig. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the ladder. No research focus selected. Well, for now that'd be good. Let's not have more research for now. We need some basics here. Okay, so... Plumbing. Pitcher pump, right here. Okay. Hopefully this one will actually be able to pump something, I don't know. She doesn't like being in water. It's cold water. Can you work that pump? Okay, yes you can. Okay, but cold. Okay. Alright, 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 right. Now we can make food in the micro musher. This still says it's not powered, and so my my attempt to power things has not gone well. Uh okay, well. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's better. There's jewels in here now. But it doesn't seem to be... The jewels don't seem to be going to produce... ...stuff with this oxygen generator. And I don't know why. Maybe I should hook it up like this instead. I don't know how many different ways I can hook these things up, but... Maybe I'm doing it badly. Why are you not insufficient? Oh, not enough algae. Okay, we know where to get algae. There's algae over here. No, that's slime. Um, there's algae over over here. Okay, fine. We're getting algae. Um, but slime lung is a risk. Okay, hopefully that'll work. Resources low. We definitely needed algae. 
Okay, well, let's prioritize algae then. No print, new printables are available, no research focus selected. It'd be, it'd make me happier if we got more headroom here. There's a lot of algae here. That's coal. There's some algae up there. Okay, well, let me build a ladder right up here. There's an egg there. Okay, we picked up a little bit more algae. This one's still not running though. Okay, now we've got both. Charging up the battery, good times. So this one is useless. I don't think we need to deconstruct it yet. Not a priority. What's with the shine bug though? Looking for food. As long as the food isn't us, that's fine. Well, seems like the research focus is the only concern now. It's satisfied with our oxygen generation. We didn't need a whole lot of tutorial stuff to get started here, so that's that's a good thing. Okay, well, um, these two need to be cut too. I need to build a ladder right there. Ah, uh, but they're powering stuff. So now we've got an algae terrarium. Consumes algae to produce oxygen. Well, see, we still need to... Consume algae. Ration box. Okay, planter box. Grows one plant from a seed. Okay, well, we'll need seeds then. But, alright. Any seeds collected? Mealwood seed. So, that's two. Alright. So, do we need power for that? Is one question. We've got a power complex here. Well, we could probably route power down. Refinement. Compost. Reduces polluted dirt and other compostables into dirt. Okay. But I think food first and a planter box sounds nice. Our ration box is low, we don't need a new one. How's the this no fabrications queued? I want to make more mush bars. We've got the stuff. I don't think they'll like it. Lice loaf doesn't sound great. Tofu, that's an insult to tofu to put it next to all these things. <laughs> Come on. Tofu is not that bad. We don't have the raw resources for anything except for mush bars. Which is grisly, as it says. There's printables available. There's a little person icon there. I guess printables available. Choose a blueprint. Oh, we can get a new person, I think. We print people. Well, they are clones, I suppose. Care package, hatchling. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, adult hatch? Hmm. Increased athletics, science, but looks a little bit slow. Cannot do attacking errands. Well, for now. Increased air consumption rate. Eh, uh, let's not. Decreased germ resistance. Increased germ resistance I like. Alright, well, Ruby, we will print a Ruby. We have our first newbie. Well, I sh guess we should have a new research focus then, huh? Electric grill, egg cracker, mess table, farm tile. Or power-wise, jumbo battery, wire bridge. Well, that would save them some trouble constantly going back to it if we had a bigger battery. And then water cooler crafting station. I don't know what we need to craft just yet. Medicines. Medicines will be important. Liquid. So that they don't have to be carrying the the water all around. Uh, everything is important, obviously. Refrigerator. Lamp. Decor. Rocketry. Well, that's later. Um, decor is also later. Exosuits will probably... I'm interested in that for sure. I don't think I need ventilation yet.
Boy, actual toilets though. Hmm. Employment. Well, I guess that's what the crafting station is. We don't have enough people though right now. Let's just get medicine. That seems most important right now. Okay, what do they need? Uh, no seed selected. Well, we have seeds. Mulewood. Mulewood. Oh, a plant and mulewood plant. Okay, there we go. But they're sleeping. Okay, we should give them some beds. We'll have this be the bed area. How's the, the air is breathable here? Four cots. This is the work area. This is gonna be the sleep area. Uh oh, power's gone. Oh, can they die in their sleep because th we might need a bigger battery after all? To make sure that during the sleep period the air quality doesn't go down too low. Well, let me gather these. Uh, And maybe dig that stuff. Okay, that's powered up. Planted some mealwood seeds. We've got some extra now, I think. Or no. Or at least it's not stored yet. Okay, what's up with these? Oh, waiting delivery? Oh, growth halted fertilization. Okay, okay, just delivering dirt. Well, dirt should be easy to come by. Maybe the bigger batteries will be more efficient, too. I don't suppose... Yeah, next production 2.7 cycles, so we have to wait for another person. Okay, how's this? This is making mush bars, so that's good. Um, we haven't gotten any mush bars as... as food, though, here. Okay, now this one. Alright, so that is happening. Okay. Boy, they're busy. Going faster. It's because of the power stuff. Okay, well, you, yeah, yeah, stop applying yourself, Ruby. We need help with all the other stuff. Alright, now, now we're getting the cots. You guys need to get the cots before bedtime. Looks like the planter box are okay. Blocks, boxes are okay. Uh, okay. Might need to wrap up this video soon. Okay, so we haven't got any more seeds. Marie earned a skill point. Good. I like to see them improving. Now this is our cozy little colony right now. Um, we need to presumably go up to make our way to the surface, I guess. Right now nobody's going up there to dig that stuff though. I mean, it's logical to think that the surface is upright. Unlock new blueprints. Uh oh. Okay, print. Spite Rock Crusher. Okay. Mashes rocks. What I really need is to be able to build foundations. Their doors. Walls and floors of rooms. Oh, I guess tiles might work. Okay, well, more research. I think we'd want the big battery, right? Jumbo battery. Hopefully it won't take too much extra space. Food safety. Managing food contamination. Research complete. Well, I got that. Um, the food my duplicates cook will only ever be as clean as the ingredients used to make them. So, I'm storing food in sterilized environments. Hopefully... The ration box is sterilized. Uh, and refrigerated environments will keep people free of 
terms. Well, we'll discover refrigeration eventually. Okay, but I think this first video is already an hour long. So, uh, this is this is the status of our colony right now. My first attempt. Uh, probably I'm not doing things in a very optimized way, but so far it's looking functional. So, I haven't killed anyone yet. So, that's positive. Now, as far as discovering things that uh, we can... It, it does occur to me that actually having bases with research stage... I mean, actually this setup, actually having the Kerbals running on generators would be really funny. But, um, yeah, actually uh, modeling a base with like an oxygen diffuser. I mean, th there's the sort of setup that I need to think about inside like the colony structures that we have, the domes and such. Basically... You, you, we could have a research center and an outhouse. Very easy to forget the the plumbing like that, uh, but yeah. So I'll think about that. It's it is applicable already. I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, uh, this has been oxygen not included. I haven't gotten into substantial trouble yet, but this is like easy the easy version. I'm sh I mean, it is survival mode still, but. I feel like it's going to get harder as we go along, and it probably, and that's probably why people uh, rate it overwhelmingly positive because uh, it sort of lulls you into a false sense of security, something like that. Anyway, uh, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.